General Muritla Mohamed remains a Nigerian military head of state whose contribution to the development of Nigeria will never be forgotten. Research also showed that if Muritla Mohamed was not assassinated but allowed to rule, Nigeria would be a better country by now. But his regime was cut short because he was assassinated six months into office. to my channel my name still remains Emmanuel please today I'm on this very spot here in Ikoi and this spot is a very interesting site on this very street called Bank Road this place I am sitting right now is where Muritla Mohammed was assassinated and I want you guys to see this place so I'll be telling you brief history about this place as the video continues. This man was killed in cold blood and they constructed this statue in his honor. State, Muritla Mohammed was born on the 8th of November 1938, the northern part of Nigeria, Kano to be precise. He became the head of state in 1975 as the Nigerian youngest person to have ruled the country at the age of 37. The late head of state was a patriotic and a true Nigerian who had the love of his country and people at heart. Achievements. Muritla Mohammed created nine states, make, bringing the total number of states in Nigeria to 19 as at 1975. He involved in creation of new federal capital territory, ETC. On February 13, 1976, General Mutala Mohammed was on his way to work in Doda Barracks while sitting in his car along with his aide de camp, ADC Lieutenant Akitunde Akinserewa. He was ambushed by a group of soldiers right there in the Koyi traffic on Bank Road where he was assassinated. <laughs> Due to his tremendous achievement within the space of six months, Nigeria was prompted to honor him by making him the first Nigerian who had his name of and face printed on the Nigerian Naira notes. And his name also was named after the famous Lagos International Airport to Muritla Mohammed International Airport in 1976 after his death.
building you are seeing over there is the former federal secretariat. This very structure used to be the powerhouse of Nigeria, where leaders like Yakub Gon, Muritala Mohamed, Olusegun Abbasanjo, and the likes ruled Nigeria. This federal secretariat used to be very vibrant in the 1980s and 1990s, but declined due to the relocation of federal capital territory from Lagos to Abuja in 1991. Thank you so much for watching. I trust you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Turn on the notification so you get notified whenever I upload another video. Please let me know what you think about this video by writing your view on the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye for now.